evening everyone, it's Mrs Allen here and I'm going to share with you the gigantic turnip. Long ago, an old man and an old woman lived together in a crooked old cottage with a large overgrown garden. The old man and the old woman kept six yellow canaries, five white geese, four speckled hens, three black cats, two pot belly pigs and one big brown cow. On a fine March morning, the old woman sat up in bed, sniffed the spring air and said, it's time for us to sow the vegetables. So the old man and the old woman went out into the garden. They sowed peas and carrots and potatoes and beans. Last of all, they sowed turnips. That night rain fell, pitter patter on the garden of the crooked old cottage. The old man and the old woman smiled as they slept. The rain would help the seeds swell and produce fine, juicy vegetables. Spring passed and the summer sun ripened the vegetables. The old man and the old woman harvested their carrots and potatoes and peas and beans and turnips. At the end of the row, there was just one turnip left. It looked very big. In fact, it looked gigantic. On a fine September morning, the old man sat up in bed, sniffed the cool autumn air and said, it's time for us to pull up that turnip. And out he went. The old man pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but the turnip would not move. The old man went to find the old woman. The old woman wrapped her arms around the man's waist. Both of them pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old woman went out to find the big brown cow. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old man mopped his brow and went to fetch the two potbelly pigs. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow and the two potbelly pigs pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old woman rolled up her sleeves and went to fetch the three black cats. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two potbelly pigs and the three black cats pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So one of the cats twitched her tail and went to fetch the four speckled hens. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two potbelly pigs, the three black cats and the four speckled hens pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still the turnip would not move. So one of the hens shook her feathers and went to fetch the five white geese. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two potbelly pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens and the five white geese pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still the turnip would not move. So one of the geese cranked her neck and went to fetch the six yellow canaries. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two potbelly pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the five white geese and the six yellow canaries pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still the turnip would not move. The old man scratched his head. The animals and birds lay on the ground gasping. The old woman had an idea. The old woman went into the kitchen and put a piece of cheese by the mouse hole. Soon a hungry little mouse popped its head out of the hole. The old woman caught the mouse and carried it outside. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two potbelly pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the five white geese, the six yellow canaries and the hungry little mouse pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Pop! The gigantic turnip came flying out of the ground and everyone fell over. The canaries fell on the mouse, the geese fell on the canaries, the hens fell on the geese, the cats fell on the hens, the pigs fell on the cats and the cow fell on the pigs. The old woman fell on the cow and the old man fell on the old woman. They all lay on the ground and laughed. That night the old man and the old woman made a huge bowl of turnip stew. Everyone ate as much as they could. And do you know what? The hungry little mouse ate most of all.